Washington has gotten way out of touch with where the American people are. And Washington for decades now has celebrated a great economy, but the lived experience of most Americans is wages have basically been flat while the cost of housing adjusted for inflation has gone up by two thirds. Your insurance premiums have more than doubled. The cost of sending a kid to college has tripled. The squeeze on America's middle class has been real and it's been so hard that millions, tens of millions of people across this country can barely breathe. In the last couple of years, Trump basically caused soul searching. The Democratic Party was like, okay, we have to reorient ourselves, and it did. What's happening in the Democratic Party right now is that we're getting back to being the party of working people and saying government can be here to be a friend. Government isn't just on the side of the CEOs and the giant corporations and the big drug companies and the big oil companies. Government can actually be a force for helping invest in opportunity for you and for your kids. The Democratic Party is always fractious. But right now there's kind of a loud discussion. Is the party going too far to the left? Is that like a healthy fight for the party or a destructive one? I actually don't think that's the right frame for it. Right. I know that's how most people talk about it. They talk about left, right, or left and moderate, moderate or whatever. I don't think that's right. I think the Democratic right. Party in 2019 is catching up with where America is. Today you had John Hickenlooper on television and like is afraid to say yes, I'm a capitalist, right? He like feels like the party is inhospitable to the notion that he could embrace capitalism. I mean, sitting here right now, if I said to you, are you a capitalist? You would say what? Yes. And? Well, but that nothing? I believe yeah. in markets. Right. Markets can produce a lot of value, but let me be clear. Markets without rules are theft. This direction of the Democratic Party, why does that make Republicans happy and should we be worried about that? I hear that a lot. I don't think the Republicans are really happy to hear us coming up with proposals like the ultra-millionaire wealth tax. I don't think it makes them happy to hear that we actually have a plan now to do the kind of infrastructure that really rebuilds and not only is good for our climate, but also good for our economy and for 21st century jobs right here in America. People are very passionate right now about their full-throated vision of progressivism in the party in general and in the presidential campaign. The other thing you hear from Democrats all around the country, which must be Donald Trump. In the end, which of those is more important? I think they are the same. When you see where America stands on these core issues, it's not like you're gonna somehow get a whole lot more people on board by saying, you know what, I just don't think billionaires, they're already paying enough in taxes. That's not where America is. I think America is a lot more progressive than some people think.